a lot of what they're talking there. We're supposed to understand everything, aren't we? Today we are on the parafield to do a helicopter flight for Bruno. Can't wait, but the weather is not being very clever. Today. Yeah, it's been actually pretty windy and looks like it's gonna rain again. So I don't think it's gonna be easy for you this time. Is, it, is this Australian weather? Actually for us, it was really sunny. So you're out of luck today. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. I've been flying helicopters uh, since I was a kid back in Brazil. No license, no license. Just, you know, <laughs> with, the, with the instructor. That's the first time I'm getting to an R44. It should be good fun. And uh, you know, all the learning that we're getting will be very important to the stuff that we do on the speeder. Uh, the reason why they were given the opportunity to fly in a helicopter is because uh, when we put them into an air speeder, because it's going to be a powered lift rotorcraft, it's going to be unlike anything that exists today. So we've got to give our pilots the experience of different types of aircrafts and allowing them to get their hands on the controls to actually get real feedback from the aircraft with regards to the way it performs and handles. The haptic feedback that they get on a remote control is not the same. We give them the chance to experience that different type of feedback, um, which they can then take, those learnings they can take and apply them to the airspeeder when they finally uh, get their hands on those controls. So I've never been in a, in a piston helicopter yeah. before. <laughs> so this, the fire-up procedure was... Uh... <laughs> Every time you fly a uh, man craft, you get a feel for what the craft is sort of doing. Uh, normally when you're looking at the craft on line of sight or if you're doing um, FPV, you don't really feel it, you just have the, visual, you have the visual sensation. So being in there gives you a great understanding of what the wind effect is and how things move around. And uh, the flight controllers are definitely working very hard to keep us uh, pointing straight. And the, the pedals are the other way around from what I'm used to, ah, so right, yeah. that broke my brain. Flying, flying the R44 was, uh, was a really good time. For me, it was a brain scramble. Uh, every time I flew a heli before, you'd uh, press the right pedal when you're increasing the, the collective, and this was the, wrong, the other way around. So in the beginning, I was really like fighting my brain because I didn't know what was going on. Uh, windy day as well, so challenging, but Daniel has been a real star. He had the, the patience, he had the... Uh, the calmness to tell me to, what to do. We did a few times the hover, then we started to do like some uh, turns and finally we did some circuits. And by the end, the hovers were quite, uh, were quite nice. Still, nowhere near the level of uh, what he's doing, but uh, yeah, I had a good time and uh, yeah, really happy that we got the chance to do it today.